if we're truly going to walk in, in the wholeness that Jesus has purchased for us with that crown of thorns, there's three things we need to do. So if you've struggled with mental issues, I'm going to call it that, then I want to give you three steps that I believe are going to help you. First thing is you're going to have to build your faith on the idea that you've been redeemed. You're going to have to get, and how do we build our faith? We get in the word. You're going to have to go to the word and you're going to have to find out what the word says. And remember, faith doesn't focus on sight. Faith doesn't focus on what's happening now. Faith doesn't focus on how I feel. Faith is not concerned with what I'm seeing. Faith reaches for something higher. Faith knows something above where I, than, than the current circumstances I'm facing. So you're going to have to get in the word and you're going to have to find out what Jesus has done for you. Because if you don't have faith, faith is the key that unlocks this door. So first of all, you're going to have to build your faith in the fact that your mind has been redeemed and you do that through the word of God. Secondly, you're going to have to get bulldog determined about taking every thought captive. When that thought comes that you know that that thought leads to that thought and that thought and that thought and this thing starts going down, you're going to have to say, I'm tired of going down. My grandma went down. My mom went down. It don't matter anymore. I'm not going down anymore. I'm taking this thought captive. I'm not going to dwell on these things. I'm going to do what Philippians told us to do in, in chapter 4 is I'm going to think on things that are honest. I'm going to think on things that are pure. I'm going to think on things that are lovely. I'm going to think on things that have good report. I'm not letting this stink and think and drag me to the bottom anymore. I'm tired of the bottom. I'm ready to break this thing. This is My past is not going to be my future. That's number two. And number three is you're going to have to replace wrong thinking with right thinking, and that's where the renewed mind comes in. You see, you may have been told your whole life that you're worthless and that you're no good. You're going to have to get in the Word, and you're going to have to find out what Jesus said about you. And it doesn't matter what Mama said about me. It doesn't want to matter what some school teacher said about me. I know the truth of who I am, and it does not come from the lips of humans. It comes from the Word of God himself and who God has made me to be. But you're going to have to learn how to replace stinking thinking with correct thinking. And so uh, you, we're going to have a ministry time here in just a minute, and we're going to pray for you. But I want to tell you, even if we pray for you today and, and you get set free and God does some radical things, tomorrow morning's coming. And tomorrow morning, you're not going to have all your brothers and sisters in Christ with you. It's just going to be you and your people. And the enemy is going to come to you the same way he's come to you a thousand other times. And he's going to be, begin to work in your mind and, and he's going to begin to give thoughts and, and, or your mind, your, your natural mind is going to start bringing things out and you're going to have to put this, you're going to have to walk this thing out. Now, I hope there's goosebumps involved when you're walking it out, but they may not be. You may just have to put one step of faith in front of another step of faith and just walk through this, right? And so you're, you're going to have to build your faith, build your faith, on what Jesus has done for you. You're going to have to take those thoughts captive and then you're going to have to replace wrong thoughts with right thoughts. You have to get in the word. And listen, when I cast down a thought, I have to replace it with something else. I cast that thought down and I put, a, I put the word on top of that. Right? The thought is, Jody, you're a failure and you're never going to amount to, amount to anything. That's the thought I have to replace that with, no, I have been made the righteousness of God in Christ. I'm the apple of his eye, right? Like I serve the God who can do anything. You, know, you understand? That, that's how we do it. We replace that. And so right now, here's what I'm going to do as we're finishing. I want to invite you into a ministry time, but I want to do it very carefully so you'll know exactly what we're doing here this morning. In a minute, I'm going to ask if there's anybody in the room who has dealt with mental issues, I want to prep you right now that I'm going to ask you to stand. And here's what I want to do right now. Everybody in the room, if someone stands, how are we going to receive them? Ready? We're going to love them. If we see somebody stand, come on, how are we going to receive them? We're with them. I mean, we, we are with you. We're not judging you. We're not criticizing, right? Love always believes the best, so we're not, yeah, anyway. So 
If you stand, we're going to be here to support you. But here's the three criteria. I want to give you three criteria. If you meet these three criteria in a minute, I'm going to invite you to stand, and we're going to pray for you as a body. Here's the first criteria is that you have to be born again. Because even though Jesus has redeemed the mind for all of humanity, it's only those of us who have put our faith in Jesus that can actually walk in that. So if you're not yet born again, this isn't for you yet. All you got to do is make a decision to, to, to by faith accept what Jesus has done for you, then you're, invo- you're invited into this. First criteria is if you're born again. Second criteria is this. If you have struggled with, with mental issues. And then thirdly, listen to this. Thirdly, if you're determined that this is the last day it's happening in your life. So three criteria, I'm gonna invite you to stand if you meet these three criteria in just a minute. And the first criteria is you're born again, you're a Christian. Second of all, you do struggle with issues. And thirdly, you are determined that it's broken today, okay? Now, when I do that, I'm gonna invite you to stand. And when I invite you to stand, I'm going to lead you in some declarations slash prayer. So it's gonna be prayer, but what we're going to do is we're going to make declarations, things that God has told us, we're going to say it back to him in the form of a prayer, but in declarations. And in these declarations, here's what we're doing. We're letting God know. We're telling him, I I recognize that Jesus has purchased this for me. And Lord, I'm I'm telling you, if it's there, I want to walk in it, Lord. So we're going to declare it back to him, letting him know, God, we're in this thing. Second thing is, we're going to let the enemy know. Come on, some of you need to put the enemy on notice, saying, listen, I don't care how many generations you've been doing this to my family, it stops with me today, right? And so we're going to let the enemy, third, we're going to let you know, okay? You got to put this in your mouth. And we're going to let all of our friends know. So this is what we're going to do in this declaration slash prayer that I'm gonna lead you through. The rest of you, if you're not standing, your job is to be supportive. If somebody close to you stands up, I want them to feel that, hey, we are with you, man. I am in this journey with you, okay? So at the count of three, if you if you are born again, have struggled with mental issues, and you're ready to get free, you're gonna stand. Everybody else in the room, we're gonna support them, okay? You ready? One, two, three, stand if you've struggled with these issues. Come on, stand all over the room. There's more of you, come on, stand, stand. Don't let the enemy cause you to miss this moment. Stand, come on, stand, stand. All right, stay standing for just a minute. I want you to know this, listen, your moment your moment of, or or your, your passion at this moment should match your determination. So this is a moment to get free. So you just block out all the other people in this room and you need to just stick your eyes on Jesus and you need to determine that you're getting free here this morning. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to lead you in something in just a second, but in order to make sure that you don't feel like you're sticking out like a sore thumb, could everybody in the room stand please now? And if you're standing close to somebody who you love and who's been standing, put your hand on them. Come on, we're a family right now, church. We're a family. And here's what I want to do. I want to lead you. I want to lead you in some declarations, knowing that this is also a prayer that we're praying up to God. I'd like everybody in the room to please declare this with me. Ready? I want you to say, Father, I know that I've been redeemed. Come on, say it. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. My mind has been redeemed. I now have the mind of Christ. Mind, I tell you, you are my servant. You are not my master. Depression, go in Jesus' name. Anxiety, go in Jesus' name. Mental issues, confusions, go in Jesus' name. Come on, tell it. Tell it. Hit the road. Now I want you to make this this declaration with me. Ready? Say, I'm free. As of right now, I'm free. By the blood and power of Jesus, I'm free. My mind is clear. I'll focus on you. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, amen. Come on, we're proud of you. I believe you preached it.